So let's create a list of frequently asked questions and answers. So we'll use a toggle where you see the questions and when you click it, it expands and displays the answer. So we head back to our development site and let's add a new section by clicking the blue plus sign. I will use a regular section and we'll use a two column design row with a 50-50 design. And we will insert a toggle module. And before we do anything, I will just close this one and I will go to the section settings and we will add the background color, which will be this dark gray 1C, 1C, 1C. Okay, let's head back to our toggle module and uh, we can start by adding the question here. I'll add some lorem ipsum text and we can just keep this one as dummy text for now. In the state tab, I can choose if it should be closed by default or open by default. And I want it to be closed by default so you can have a nice overview as a visitor. I will change the background color of this toggle and I want it to be dark gray like that. Okay, let's head into the design settings and the icon. It's this one and I want that one to be gold. Could also change the size of it if you want to but I think it looks nice like this. Okay, let's go to the toggle and uh, I want to have the toggle, toggle background color. That's how it looks when it's expanded or closed or open. And I just want to use this dark gray color in both. So I choose it here just to be sure. And then we go to the text settings and I don't want to have it center lined or anything. So let's head down to the title text. And first off, I want this to be white and I want it to be white in all states. And uh, it's an H5, I maybe use an H3 or so. And we change the title font. What have you used here? Oh, it's that Cormorant Garamond. There we have it. And uh, we could actually increase the font size a little bit like that. And then we have the body text. I can click the pencil here as a, a shortcut. And let's change that to Carla, our brand font for body text. And I want it to be 16 pixels, maybe like that. And let's change the color. We can use maybe this light, light gray color. It looks nice. And uh, now we have this border. If we close this, I think. I want to have that in gold. It looks pretty nice in white as well, but let's try it in gold. So I scroll down and we have the border tab. And let's choose all sides. And we use a one width border and we click the brand color gold. Yeah, looks really nice. I could actually make a design. If I set this to zero, I just use the bottom border and I set this to one. That's also a pretty nice design that you recognize from the contact form. So that's another option for you. It would look like this. But I'll go for the square design like this. Perfect. So let's add maybe one, two, three, four extra. So we have five there. And now I could just click all these by holding my command key on the Mac keyboard or the control key on PC. So we'll click here and I click here. I click here and here and here and I actually missed the first one. So let's click that one too. And now I can right click, choose copy modules. And now I can right click here and I can choose paste modules. Voila! So now I can just enter these different toggles and I can just change the question and the answer. And that's a really quick way to create an FAQ. So let's not forget about the heading on top of the FAQ. So I'm lazy and we'll copy that text. So let's add another row by clicking the green plus sign. And that's a single column row. And let's add a text module. And I will add the text FAQ. Then I will paste this text like that. And let's choose an age four. And this one should be an age two. 
And let's get into the design settings. Text, we will center line everything like that. And the text color should be light. Okay, I have to go to the heading text because I've made some global settings and I will change the age to to white. There we go. Close that one and I will just drag and drop the whole row to the top. Like that. Looks pretty nice. Thank you.